Okay, welcome back to the ranch. This is part two of our reclaimed wood wall build. If you missed part one, you can check it out here. I talk about uh, the wood selection, some troubleshooting, and some tips and tricks that might help make your job easier. So if you haven't seen that one already, go check that one out. Today, we are going to be working on a great big wall. Uh, no, not that wall. This wall. So that one is gonna take quite a bit of work. I plan on being up on the ladder for most of it, so it's gonna take a few days. I wanna get started quickly, but before I do, I feel like I need a little bit of a warm up. So I found a small little section in the garage that I also wanna do. So I think before I tackle the beast, I'll give myself a chance to kinda of get everything going. Let's take a look at that one. So this little inset square is what I wanna build first. So I uh, just get the vacuum, clean out some of the cobwebs, don't kill the spiders. Uh, wipe it down and then I just did a, a fresh coat of paint with the white uh, on the edges before I put it up I just left the the full run of me going up and down the ladder so you get the idea of what it takes to build this thing yeah I forgot to hit the record button for the last part of that so well here's what it looks like when it's all done Okay, enough horsing around with that little fella. Oh, it's time to get started with the big boy. Let's go. So again with the wood selection, uh, just lay out the style you want. I was going through the thicknesses here. You can see some of the boards are thin like this one or the ones behind it are kind of thick. Uh, and then um, uh, I just snapped a string line across the bottom and then painted that layer since I'm gonna paint the garage white later. So I just got that border trim done re-snapped another chalk line so that I had that straight line for this first row uh, of boards and and then just kind of got underway at, at that point it's just board on board and then I hit a bit of a slowdown so one of the things that took a little bit of time in the beginning for this particular project was the roof line angle it was an obscure angle that didn't match any of the preset settings on my miter saw so I had to go up and down the ladder several times with a small little piece and make small little cuts in that piece and just guess basically until I got that piece to fit exactly the way I needed it to and then I could mark the saw as you see here and then after that it was really just up and down the ladder uh, back and forth it's fairly straightforward uh, from here so I'm just gonna let the time lapse play out so you can kind of enjoy the build A lot of the edge pieces still took fine tuning like you see right here. And then after three full days of calf workouts going up and down that ladder, 
It was finally time to put in the last piece. It was pretty cool seeing it transform from this to this. Well, okay, that was quite a project. Uh, it was three full days of woodworking for that wall, the, for the big wall. Um, primarily really because the every single board that had to be put on the wall required me to go up and down a ladder. Just like in video one, Get all of your equipment as close to the work site as you can. I was able to set everything up, uh, my saw and everything, right outside the garage, have everything on my tool belt that I needed, and that made things it, it, a lot faster than they would have been otherwise. All right, let's talk about a couple of things that were in that belt. The tape measure, of course, pair of pliers and a screwdriver for pulling things like staples out of the wall, a couple markers for marking things, uh, coloring in black areas, and a spray paint, of course, for doing the big jobs. Uh, pencil and some nail gun nails, of course. Then you need a pair of gloves. Uh, for me, I needed that specialty piece of wood for the angles and some overspray cardboard. Uh, the pencil for marking the wood, my staples, my speed square, and that brush. This project is really, it really came out great. I'm so happy to be done. The three full days it took was, uh, was some tough work, but uh, in the end, I mean, I really am I'm so happy with the way the, the garage uh, project came out. It really makes it a place that you can hang out now and not just a place where you are gonna park your cars. So uh, that was a, a big transformation, and, and I think in the end it really did a lot for, for the house in general. I hope you enjoyed the project. If you did, if you had fun, if you learned something, if it was educational or entertaining, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know how we're doing. I really enjoy making these videos, and I'm going to continue to put a lot more videos out in the future. So if you hit that subscribe button, it'll notify you every time you put a video out, and you can check that out. Soon we'll be taking on some other projects on the ranch. So stick around for those. We look forward to having you next time. And until then, so long from the ranch.